Well, we was camped out on the plain at the head of Cimarron. When along came this stranger and he stopped to argue some, well, he looked so very foolish when he began to look around that we thought he was a greenhorn and just escaped from town. When I asked if he had had breakfast and he had not had a sniff, so we opened up the chuck box and told him to help himself. Well, he grabbed himself a beef steak and some biscuits and some beans, and then he began to talk about the foreign kings and queens. Well, he talked about the Spanish War, fighting on sea with guns as big as fish deer and ramrods as big as trees. He talked about old Paul Jones, fighting son of a gun. He said he was the greatest cuss that ever held a gun. Such an educated fellow, his thoughts just come in hers. He astonished all of us punchers with his jaw-breaking words. And he just kept right on talking till he made the boys all sick and we began to look around for how to play a trick. Now he said he lost his job out upon the Circle B and he is headed across the prairie for a strike for seven days. He didn't say he had come in just some trouble with his boss. And he asked if he could borrow a nice fresh saddle horse. Now this tickled all the boys to death and we laughed down in our sleeves and said that he could have a horse as fresh as he would please. So old Shorty grabs his lasso and he ropes the zebra gun. And he led him to the stranger and then waited for the fun. Now, old Johnny was an outlaw. He had grown so very wild, he could paw the white out of the moon. He could jump for a mile. But old Johnny would always stand there, just like he did another. And Peter was a mounted and ready for the go. And that stranger hit the side, and old Johnny quit here. He went right straight up in the air for all that he was worth of falling and squall, having a wall eye fit. With his hind feet perpendicular, his front was in the bits. Well, we could see the tops of trees beneath him ever jump, but that stranger, he would grow there. It's like a camel's hump. He sat right up there on him and twirled his black mustache just like a summer border waiting for his lash. Well, he thumped him in the shoulders and he spurred him when he whirled and he showed all us punchers he was the wolf of this old world. And when he had dismounted, once again up on the ground, well, we knew he was a thoroughbred, not a gent from town. The boss, he wasn't standing and watching all the show and he stepped right up to him and asked him not to go. If you can use the lasso, like you rode the zebra done. And you're the one I've looked for ever since the year of the one. Well, he could use the last one. And he didn't do it slow. When the cattle lay stampeded, he was always on the go. Now, there's one thing that's a sure thing that I've learned since I was born. And that's every educated fella. Ain't no plum green one.